YouTube, how y'all doing? It's Shannon and you guys are on my channel, oh my. And this is part four of the declutter collab I'm doing with Christine Reynolds, AKA Fat Fit Mama. I will list her link below. So when you guys are done, please go and give her some love and tell her I said hi. And um, so today's part four, which is the last one, is eyeshadow. If you've been watching the all the other collabs, you know that on my declab, or my declab, I did it again, my declutter, I'm sorry, my declutter, um, I'm decluttering my unique products. Um, so, yeah, a lot. And it's eyeshadow tonight, y'all. So, and I've got everything from press shadow to cream shadow um, for the, the eyeshadows. Uh, um, I still have stuff floating around, which, I, oh my gosh, you guys, it, it's just crazy ridiculous. Don't get me wrong, not all of their stuff is horrible. It, it really isn't. Um, I like a lot of their products, and their product lasts forever, absolutely forever, it never goes away, so I think it goes bad before it goes away, I don't know if that's a good thing, if it's a bad thing, but it's a thing, but we're, I'm getting on a lot of my declutter box here. And we're going to go from there, and we're just going to see what I got, and then we will go through the colors, and, and I know I'm missing one, I already know it, I already know which one it is, and I don't know where it's at, so see, that's, you know, so there's more out there besides this, there, there's more, oh well, okay. Okay, I will be right back. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if I am, but let's go for it. Okay, we're going to start with, I guess, the pressed powders first. And I am missing some. So, so far, you guys, check it out. Yeah, no, that's not it. Yeah, no, not yet. I got these guys here. Oh, my gosh. And then we got these guys here. And then these two little guys, and I'm still missing some. So I'm telling you, I I just, I could not find it all. But let's go through what I got. And then when I find the other ones, I'll just throw them in my, um, next, my next declutter video. How's that sound? Okay, that sounds pretty good. I don't know if this is one or not. This may just be, nope, it's one. Okay, all right, let's get going, okay. So the first one is the Mood Strike Addiction Shadow Palette number three. And okay, you guys, these colors are really pretty. Really, really pretty. The colors, but let me see. Yeah, I think that they've lost their gumption because see, I'm swatching them and you really can't see anything which is not very nice I'm sorry I shook you guys which is not a good thing so they're really not going to do me much by well that one still has some life in it there and this is cheeky and then the other one this one here is a black and it's like irate so but this here is that one. Yeah, so all of my stuff is unique that I'm trying to declutter. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and work out of that one or not. I, I don't know because those first couple of colors really didn't do nothing for me. This one here is Mood Struck Addiction Shadow Palette number five. And there are the colors. So those colors there are, would be like they're really bright unicorny type colors. So let's see if they have some life in them. Oh yeah, look, see that one's still, can you guys see that? I kind of did it wrong, but okay. So 
some of them do. I just totally messed that all up, you guys. Eh. Oh well, it's one of those things, right? It's it's been a long day, long rainy day. Okay, let's go here. Okay, there's three of them. So they, it's got a little bit of a life. I can't really. This silver one is really super gorgeous. I have to show you guys this. I, I'm kind of like, don't really want to look at that silver. I really like that silver one. So I don't know. I have to think about it. You, you know, it's it's one of those. Do I or do I not? I don't know. I really don't know. The cream shadows, I'm kind of scared about because, I don't know, some may be dried out. Some may not. I, I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. The cream shadows are really nice because they go on creamy, but then they dry to that powder finish. Okay, the next one is the Moodstruck Addiction Shadow Palette number one. And this one here, I actually started working out of. And <clears throat> I do like those colors, especially like right in here because I can use those when I go to work. So it's not so bam, bam, you know, it's just something simple, neutral, and all that good stuff. So, and these little palettes do come with a little mirror, but you know, that's neither here nor, neither, neither here nor there. Okay, this is Moodstruck Addiction Shadow Palette number four. And so it's kind of got your neutrals and then, you know, a gray, blue, and then a darker blue. They're nice. You can tell I've worked out of this one more right with these three, I guess you could see. There's a little indention in this one. This one here, when I first got this one, I didn't have eyebrow palettes, you know, any eyebrow stuff. So I did use this one here for brows. So, and then you can use them too for bronzers and stuff like that. You know, they're, they're very, I guess, versatile, you can say. Okay, this was part of their duet collection that they had and which I thought was really cute and it comes in two colors so this is basically your base and you know to lighten it up and then you've got a blue um and the, this one here is in sync with I don't know if they carry this anymore let's do it right there I don't know. This one here is just really right there. So I don't know if they if they still have this. I haven't been on. I have not activated my website on them for like forever. So it's I'm deactivated. Okay, this one here was Defend Innocence. It was a um, program that they started uh, or that they have to where they defend and they have. Um, and it's for anybody. You don't have to be a part of Unique for it. So I will promote this. Um, you go on their website. If you know anybody who has been sexually molested or raped, you go onto their website and you look up for Defend Innocence. And they actually have, um, it's like a, um, I, I think it's like five days that you can go and, and get therapy and all kinds of rehabilitation and you just have fun and you meet other women um, and, and that have been in the same boat as you. It, I, I actually really like it. I think it's awesome. Um, and this color here, do not have a color, but it's actually pretty. It's silver. And let me get my fingers all cleared off on this. And my daughter keeps texting me for more. There it is right there. So, and it's a silvery. So that there would be good for like inner corner or if you want to do, you know, some kind of wild, wild, awesome look or something, you know, you just never know, but it's actually pretty. Okay, my next palettes that I've got, except for this one, and I have another one of these, but I don't know where it's at, and it's red, but I don't know where it's at. So that is just part of the Valentine's thing that they had going on. But these got, well, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got this one right here. I thought I had another big one. Okay, Moodstruck Addiction Pal Shadow Palette number two. This one's really pretty too. The colors are really, really pretty. 
But again, you know, you can see where I used it a little bit, but not, you know, a whole awful lot, you guys. To tell you the truth, when I started working with Unique, I was getting into the different colors and setting, 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 getting out of my comfort zone, you know, but it just didn't work out in that part. That's a whole different, a whole different. So, okay. Anyways, these guys here are, I guess you could say palettes I put together personally with colors that I liked. Um, when, yeah, I, I've got another one of these missing that has some really awesome colors in it too. But that, I don't have time to look for it. I don't know where it's at. Anyways. So, yeah, what I'm showing you isn't everything that I have on eyeshadows by Unique because I got more and I just don't know where they're at. Because I've got makeup in here, I've got makeup in my bedroom, I've got makeup everywhere, you guys. Okay, so the first one here that I'm going to show you is this is a palette that I had put together with colors that I liked. Um, accelerated, um, non cynical optimistic and witty this one here's witty and witty is like a pumpkin-y spice type color but i put this together myself now what is awesome about this and i probably won't get rid of all of these little boogers if i can find something to show you probably not maybe not maybe 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 oh wait this may work on the back, back here, you just get something and you can pull them out and replace them if you want to. And it's magnetic, so when you put it back in, they don't fall out. So I thought that was really neat. And when you shut it, it's magnetic also. So I don't know if I'll get rid of these or not or if I'll just hang on to them. I haven't quite decided yet, but I may not need all of them. I don't know. You guys ever get like that? You just don't know? I'm at that point. Oh, well. Okay. Okay, this is another one. All these that I'm showing you guys is what I put together for, you know, for me. They, colors that I liked at the time. This one here is just really beautiful colors. I really liked them. But, again, I just, this Convetus is really nice. And that one's there still seems like it's... That's pretty. I like that. I may not get rid of that one. Uh, I don't know. It's so hard. Okay, here's another one. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is awful. Those colors. These are all ones that I have personally put together. For me, what I liked. My personal... I don't know what that one was. Okay, here's another one. So, yeah, it's it's crazy of the palettes that I've got. And this is just my unique palettes. This isn't the others that I have accumulated in the past six or seven months now. And then this one kind of looks like one that I've already put together. Okay. And then I have another big one, but I don't know where it's at. And this is... This is this one here. And, nope, you would think that, that there would be the witty one, but it's not. This is lively. So, but yeah, that's one that I put together on that. So, basically, my thought on this is I put these together for that and then these over here for, you know, different looks. So, that was, I don't know. I was learning more and then this here is my mood struck beloved volume two i've got the volume one i don't know where it's at but this one here oh gosh this is the one that i was so excited about because i actually hit pan in one yeah but i made a dent in that one and i made a decent dent in this one and then a little bitty dent in that one and i was working on this like every single day i think it was for like three months and I had to put it aside and give it a rest because I just couldn't handle it anymore. Could not handle it anymore. So, okay. When I'm done showing you these, 
I think I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go see if I can find my other ones because it'd be kind of interesting for you guys to see exactly how much I've got of unique product. Okay, these shadows here, and these are shadows, believe it or not, and there's four of them. They're all nasty, but um, aren't they? That one there is really, seem a lot of fun. Um, it was part of their um, Beachfront Kissed collection, and it is their liquid shadow. So let me show you. And it has a doe's foot on it. And then see the, so, which I've worked with these a little bit to help, you know, as far as different things, but I just not, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I need to work with more of these so they don't go to waste. This one here, that one's just a lot of fun, tropically. And I really like this one here too. But I don't know if they have this one anymore, or this group anymore or not. I really don't know. Um, I hear they're launching new colors, but I don't know if it's pressed powder, if it's liquid, or if it's cream. Okay, the next one are my cream shadows. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I think I'm missing some of those. So I'm going to, when I'm done showing you these, I'm going to take a break. And I'm going to go and look and search and see what I can find. So, okay, the first one is Dreaming. And there's what she looks like inside. Let's see if she still has what it takes. And she's really super light, you guys. But I think she's about had it unless I put a whole glob on there but it looks pretty on my finger but I don't know I don't know maybe I don't know. okay let's go move on to the next one because I think that one's about toasted okay what's this one this one here is majestic this one's brand new y'all so I don't know oh my gosh fell out. Okay. Yeah, I don't think any of my cream, um, cream ones are any good anymore. That's a shame because these boogers are not cheap. But I didn't really pay anything for them because they, when you become a presenter of Unique, you get um, Y cash rewards. Okay, this one here is like, no. It's hard and it's not supposed to be hard. Let's see. This one is a gold, which that would make some of these, oh, I'm making a total freaking mess, y'all. Let me see. We'll get a brush, all right. See how it does. Okay, a little bit it does. That would be good to do, like maybe for Halloween or something, but I don't know if it would last. Um, this color here is, what color is this? Assertive. That one is still definitely good. Watch. See it? It took me a while to learn to work with cream shadow because it was really super hard. This one here I used also for, um, it's Proud, and I would use it for, like, eyeliner, but I didn't use a lot of it. But some of these I used up, and I replaced them. This one here was one that I liked also, Faithful, right there. Let's see. I, I can say I liked all of them, you guys. This one here is Elegant, which is really super pretty. But I think that they're they're done with their life. So we will probably be getting rid of the majority of these. This one here is Tenacious. And that's got a glitter to it or sparkle. Okay. And this one here, what one is this one? Unapologetic. Yeah. So basically you can see I just wasted a lot, a shitload of money. 
dainty. That's a pretty color. They're all pretty. I like them all, but... Okay. This one here is Victorious, and... Which is still good. So, it's still on there. This is, it does really good, like, for, like, a, um, a base on the eye. I don't know if I showed you guys or not. So, that one there I'll probably definitely keep. I'll just have to go through and see. This is Noble. Now, these colors, I don't know if they've got them or not. But, you know, this is, oh, this one here. I like this one. Charming. And it's green. Oh, my gosh. It's like a sea green. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. We got to see. We got to see it. That's so bad. Oh. Maybe. No. It's a no. Yeah. Because if I can't get it on a brush, then it's really not worth having. So, basically, just about all of my cream shadows are bye-bye. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get off of here for a few. And I'm going to go and look and see if I can find the rest of my palettes that I made. You know, ones that I put together. And then, if I got any more cream ones floating around somewhere in singles. Because I did have some single press shadows around. So, that way I can have mainly those all together. And, you know, and, and they're right here. So, I know what I'm going to get rid of and what I'm not. And, oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. So, hang tight and I will be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And, <sighs> I look, I can't find no more. But, I'm sure they're going to pop up. No biggie. It's just, it is what it is. But I really got to go through the cream shadows and I have a feeling that those are all going to go bye-bye because they just, they're not holding up, unfortunately, because I just, I don't, yeah. So I just have to say bye. So out of all of my shadows, what is it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen of them are cream shadows. All of these guys right here are going in the trash. They will be done because they're just, they, you can't work with them anymore. So, yeah, that's kind of sad, but whatever. It is what it is, and it was time to get rid of them anyways. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of my decluttering my unique products. And oh my gosh, you guys, I've got so much. Um, so, um, some, you know, the, the cream shadows just will not, you know, I, I won't even give those away because there's no use in it. So we'll just see on that. So all of my unique products is kind of on the fence of what I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep because I just don't know. And I'm really not seeing myself grabbing and gravitating to it anymore when I go to put my makeup on. Um, the only thing that I have been gravitating to more mainly on my unique product is my eyebrow palette um, and my mascara. And that's only because I'm on my last mascara. That's it. Other than that, then I'm going to start, you know, going for other you know, mascaras and, um, probably even other eyebrow, you know, palettes because I've got more in there to use and to try. So I don't know. It's kind of sad, but whatever we learn, right? We live and learn. It's what happens when you get obsessed with stuff, I guess. I don't know because I got so many other palettes. So just, I'm glad I just did it on decluttering my unique so, I'm probably going to get rid of the majority, the most of all the unique, you guys. There's just a few things that I'll keep. And that's only because I like them and I use a lot of it. Like the lip glosses, you know, I do use a lot of that. Um, and um, maybe the setting powder, I'll finish out. And the bronzer because I have made a dent in that. But I really think the majority of the eyeshadows and the lippies and all that stuff are fixing to go bye-bye because it's just time to move on to something you know new and fresh so that being said we just got to say goodbye to unique and oh well what can i say you guys i can't help it but oh well but i've got so many other pretty palettes that i can play with on my makeup yeah so 
but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video you know the collab that we did it's a four-parter so this is part four that we are doing our eyeshadows and we oh my gosh you guys if I see that I find anything I may add a snippet at the end of the at the end of the video and just show you guys the other ones that I found in between now and tomorrow but if not, then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. Don't forget to go and see Miss Christine at Fat Fit Mama. Um, and give her some love too. And tell her I said hi. And thank you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful, awesome, blessed evening. Mwah. Bye. Okay, you guys. I told you I'd do a bonus. I found some more of my unique to declutter and I found more so I do apologize for the lengthy video but okay here we go I have got three more splurge yeah three more of these bad boys you can see the ones that I've used you know and the ones that I haven't yeah oh well I got three more of those to go um okay look at that brand new never been freaking opened y'all never been opened totally disturbing okay this is not just eyeshadow I found some lippies yeah lippies I found lippies okay and then I've got Here's a single one that I found. I know I got another one of these floating around somewhere, but I'm not going to go and search for it. I just did this. And then this is another duet one that I've got. And so, yeah, it's like crazy ridiculous, you guys. These are pretty. If you like purple, these like, I, and these are ones that I put the palettes together. Except for this one coming up. This is the Mood Struck Beloved. The first one that I was telling you guys about. And I really didn't use a lot of this. You can see the indention on that one. And then that one. And then it broke right there. But I really like this one here. Because it has a really like an iridescent type color to it. It's really pretty. And then this is another big one. Remember I told you earlier. I had another big one. This is the other big one. And those are the colors. Yeah. That blue. But see, it's not doing like it should. So I, it, it's just. Well, that one, that one does that that gold that goldy one here. But they're just they're they're no good no more. It's so sad. Oh well. Okay, lippies. I got two more of the powder. It goes from a powder to a cream. These are actually still good. They don't have the odor to them. Here's another powder to cream. So they're they're pretty. And then another lip stain. I told you guys about the lip stains, how I do like those. Um, because once you put that on and you let it dry and you put another coat on, the more you let it dry and you put another coat on, depends on how bold or bright or whatever it's going to be. So, okay. I have three more of the duets that gives that ombre look, which I never did get the... I never could get them on my lips. I, and I think it's because I just don't have those big voluptuous lips. But I do like this color here. This color here is just like really awesome but I could never get it on my lips like that so and I think this is the same color if I'm not mistaken yeah I ended up getting two of the same color so these here I may just wear just to wear them and get them so I don't have to chunk them um this is also part of their oh they the beachfront edition and it's a lip gloss and I believe and I'm not not mistaken this is the coconut and it's an oil and I really do like it because it is really hydrating for my lips 
lips, my lips. So that stuff like this, I will keep because I do carry this in all my purses and backpacks. And I've got them chunked in the truck, in the car, because I do put this on quite a bit. Okay, and then I've got four lipsticks. So let's see. Oh, that one's really pretty, y'all. Let's see, we'll go right here. See that color? Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of like an iridescent. Hmm. Oh, a nude, which I do like nude colors because they are just, you know, the, these neutral colors like that, earth tones and all that. I do love colors like that. There's another one. And then here's another pretty one. But I think those look, no, they're different, maybe. I don't know, they may be the same color. I'm not quite sure. Okay, and then I've got this. This is a two-in-one. It is a con um, concealer for under the eyes. Then you turn around and it's a contour for my lip cheeks. But yeah, and it just, you know, it's something good to, you know, if you're traveling or whatnot. But yeah, so that was the bonus, you guys. I found more. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. Crazy ridiculous. So there's no telling what else I'll find floating around here or there. But I did was like scrimming in everything through my stuff. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I got more. I got more. I got more. But I found it. So that there from the, this is part four. And this is the bonus part of, of all three or all four of them, I should say, of stuff that I found after I did my videos and I'm just adding it to my fourth one. So I'm sorry about that, but I couldn't leave these guys out either because it is part of my declutter of the unique products that I have invested in. And, and of course, all of my cream shadows are going bye-bye because they're just dried up and they don't, they just don't do what they need to do. So they are definitely going bye-bye. Um, I've got a lip balm balm that's going bye-bye. I've got some of my pressed palettes that are going to go bye-bye. So I do have a lot of stuff that's that's being tossed out. The foundation, the coverage, you know, the lighter colors and the really darker colors are going. They're gone. I don't need them. It's not what I'm into anymore. I found other stuff that's better for my skin because I am older. So that being said, you guys, I thank you guys. For hanging in there to the very end i do appreciate it and until next time y'all have a blessed evening and don't forget to go and visit christine reynolds aka fat fit mama she's awesome she's beautiful she's just a wonderful person inside and out and thank you miss fat fit mama aka christine reynolds for inviting me to do this declutter collab with you my friend I loved it. Thank you so much. And until next time, you guys, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I will chat with y'all later. You guys stay safe. Have a very blessed night. Bye.